Hey everybody and welcome back to another lecture with Coding with Roby. In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to manipulate our SQLite 3 database using our terminal after successfully installing SQLite 3 under your machine. So once we're in our project, let's open up our terminal. And the first thing we need to do is CD over into our to-do app. Once you're in your to-do app, let's type in SQLite3, and then let's type in todos.db. And todos.db is gonna be mimicking the database that you created within the folder. So immediately we get our SQLite version, and it's telling us to tap in enter if we want to help. I'm gonna scroll our terminal all the way to make it full screen so we can see more. The first thing I'm gonna do is type in dot schema. This will show you all the tables that are currently within our SQLite 3 database. We can see that we have a table of to-dos that have an ID, a title, a description, a priority, and complete. And then it's telling us our primary key is our ID. So let's insert a record into our to-do table. We can accomplish this by typing in insert into todos and then within parentheses typing in title, description, priority, and complete. And then making the values go to the store. Pick up eggs. Five and false. And here it's telling me I forgot a semicolon. So you can just type in semicolon if you ever get these dot dot dots and arrows. And now let's type in select all from to-dos. However, all is gonna be a star, so select star from to-dos. And don't forget that semicolon. Here we can see that we have go to the store, pick up eggs, five, zero, zero means false, one means true. And then our ID is getting automatically created because we have integer not null. So it's automatically going to increment up so we have a primary key for each element within our table. I'm going to press up on our right arrow pad and I'm going to press up one more time and then one last time until we get insert into to-dos again. Here I'm going to just modify this list so we can add another to-do to our table. Instead of go to the store, I'm going to say cut the lawn. For the description, I'm going to say grass is getting long. I'm going to make this priority a three and then also false. However, I'm going to add a semicolon at the end. Now, if we say select all from to do's, we will get two elements returned. We get two elements, go to the store, pick up eggs, and we also get cut the lawn, grass is getting long, and the IDs are one and two. I'm gonna create one more element. I'm gonna say feed the dog. He is getting hungry. I'm gonna make this a five and also false. And one last time, I'm gonna say select all from to do's, where we now get three elements. Now, if you're like me, 
you don't like the view of how this comes in automatically and by default for SQLite 3. You can change the mode by typing in dot mode and then typing in what type of mode you like at the end. A few examples are column. And now if we say select all from to do's, we're going to get a nice little column list with ID, title, description, priority, and complete. You can do mode markdown. And if we type select all from to do's, we are now going to get a new list of the same elements. You can do dot mode box. which is going to make it a sealed box as the return. Or you can do my favorite, which is table. Which is a very similar to the box, but with dashed lines. Now I'm going to create one more element. I'm going to click up until I see our last insert. And here I'm going to type in test element. And I'm going to press enter. If we now say select all from to do's, we now get a table view of our elements. And now let's say we want to delete test element. We need to say delete an element from this to do's table where the primary key of ID is equal to four. And the reason we're using the primary key is because the primary key is the only thing within this entire table that cannot be duplicated. To do this, we can say delete from to do's where ID is equal to four. If we now say select all from to do's, we can see that the element was erased. Now let's go and create one more element. And here I'm going to say a new test element. Now if we say select all from to do's, we can see that it reused the primary key that we deleted. So as for an example, it doesn't just skip four and then go to five, it reuses some of the elements. And now I'm gonna delete this last element. So delete from to do's where ID is equal to four. We got my semicolon and then select all from to do's. And now we have our starting elements for our new to do's application. This wraps up SQLite, and I will see you in the next video.